All right, home heroes, let's start with the warm up. My beginners, you will follow Bob, everyone else, follow me, and let's start with a nice run in place. Really start to focus on your breath, setting your intentions for this workout, speeding up that heart rate, warming up your joints. Let's go. Lift up those knees. See if you can bring them in a little bit further, contracting your core when you bring those knees up. Everyone else, if you cannot do a run in place, you're going to march in place like Bob here, our professor. <laughs> All right, let's come to a stop. Now reach up towards the sky, elongate your body. Again, focusing on that breath. My heart rate is immediately elevating. Okay, let's reach over to the side. Opposite side. Hands down and now just a nice shoulder roll towards the back. Good heroes. Let's reverse the side. Roll forward. And now we're going to go into a nice side tap, swinging our arms, bringing it across your body. Come on, Bob, with a little bit more passion. You <laughs> see, Bob needs to warm up, you know? Good heroes. Keep going. Now reach up to the sky. Again, elongating the side of your body. Good. Now, let's bring it down into a nice deep squat. If you're anything like me, my hip flexors and my hamstrings and glutes get really tight from the workouts. So this always feels nice. Try to keep your heels down on the ground. If you can come this low, follow Bob here. Now, come up a little bit higher into your sumo stance. From here, you're going to twist and reach up to the sky. Come to the middle and reach up to the other side. Let's do it two more times, a little bit faster. Switch. Last one. And now come up. And what you're going to do now is you're going to place one foot in front of the other, bending your legs slightly, and then you're going to sweep down and sweep up. Reaching towards that foot, feeling a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Last one. Switch sides. Good heroes, keep going. Let's do two more, and then we're going to go into a butt kick run. <sighs> All right, let's run in place. Bring those feet nice and high, kicking your booty. Try to keep your knees almost under your hips as you run in place. Keep going. <sighs> yes, heroes. Keep going. Few more, and then we're going to do a walkout. Three, two, one. All right, in the back of your mat, roll down, bend your legs, take three steps forward with your hands, come all the way down, and do a slight little cobra. Don't overextend it. You just want to give your body time to warm up. Push back into your plank. Walk back, bend your legs, and now reach up towards the sky. Let's do one more. Lower down. Cobra, you can go a little bit higher now if you feel you can. Come back down. Go into a plank and wait right there. From here, 
What I want you to do is bring your glutes up to the sky, going into a nice little downward dog, and then pedal your feet out a little bit. Good heroes. All right, let's walk our hands back to our feet. Come on up to the sky, reaching up one more time. And now come down, two more. All right, Hero, you're ready to hit it. Heroes, you made it. It is day seven, your last workout in this sequence. We are gonna hit full body and we are gonna really hit it hard. You will need a set of heavy dumbbells, light dumbbells, and a chair. If you don't have any of that, which I know you at least have a chair, so grab it. But if you don't have dumbbells, grab resistance bands, grab books, grab water, grab your baby girl's backpack, whatever you have that has a shit ton of books or something in it that is heavy, grab it because we are gonna get real sweaty. We're gonna start with a walkout with a little twist to it. We're gonna walk forward with our feet as well and then reverse it. All right, heroes, get on the back of your mat. Let's get ready. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Roll down, walk into your walkout position. Now walk your feet forward, rounding your back. Round. You can keep your legs bent, and then you're gonna reverse it. Come back up, come forward. Keep going. Walk those feet up, walk it back down. And reach up, keep going. Next up will be a nice, clean and simple dumbbell chest press. Grab your heavy set of dumbbells. For your reference, I will be using sixes, but I would recommend you to go way heavier if you have them. Just use what is accessible. If you're going heavier, you do it slower. If you're going lighter, you do it faster. Three, two, one. All right, grab your towel, grab your weights, lay down, and let's start with those chest press. Your elbows are a little bit lower than your shoulders and you're keeping it with a nice wide chest press. <sighs> Remember, if you don't have weights, you can use your water bottles. Just keep going. Really extend when you get to the top to place that emphasis on your chest muscles, okay? Keep going. <sighs> Gotta get my hair on my eyes. <sighs> <sighs> Press up, reach the sky, make sure that you're really contracting your chest muscles, okay? <sighs> Controlling the weight as you lower. <sighs> Next up, we're gonna use just one dumbbell. We're gonna come to a stand in three, two, one, all right, modifications. You have a look at what Bob's doing. Everyone else, grab one dumbbell. You're gonna do one squat. Then you're gonna drop your dumbbell for two dumbbell swings. Bring it back up, one squat and two swings. One squat and two swings. My modifiers. Please know that you can stick to a single hand squat. You can completely take the swing out, okay? Just as Bob's doing. Yes, perfect. Come on, guys. We are almost there. Then we're gonna go to chair, knee tucks. Okay, superheroes, you go with me. Heroes, follow Bob on the floor. Three, two, one, bring that chair closer. Have a nice little comfy seat on it. Extend your legs and now tuck, tuck. Option here, if you wanna make it more challenging, raise your legs. I will be holding on just because I don't have a lot of faith in the stability of this chair, so safety first, okay? My modifiers, like I said, 
follow Bob. He's doing such a fantastic job showing you guys. He's so focused. He's got his game face on. Whew. Keep going. We're almost there. Then we're going to do the dumbbell single hand squat with the swing on the left side or whatever side you didn't do yet, okay? We're almost there. In three, two, not there yet, one, and let's go. All right. <laughs> Just have to keep you guys on your toes, okay? All right. Grab your weight, bring it to your shoulder, and now one squat and two swings. Turn your hand inwards so your thumb goes backwards. The easiest way to remember it is to think <laughs> thumb to the butt, okay? So turn your thumb down, swing it, and then snatch to your shoulder. <laughs> Two times. <laughs> After this, we're gonna go into a dumbbell reverse fly. 20 seconds. <sighs> Really control that weight. Squeeze your glutes when you get to the front. If you're following Bob, come on. See if you can go a little bit deeper. In three, two, one, and come down. Grab your lighter set of weights. Now, come down, bend your knees, nice, Flat back, okay? Shoulders backwards. Bring your weights forward. And now fly to the back. Sending your elbows to the back. A slight bend in your elbows are good, but don't make it too short, okay? <sighs> My modifiers with your water bottles, you can also do alternating reverse flies. If it is still too much for you, if you are even struggling with keeping a flat back, you can put one leg forward. This takes a little bit of strain from your lower back, and especially if your hamstrings are tight, to give you a little bit more room to bring that body down, okay? <sighs> Come on, after this, it's gonna be fun. In three, two, one, all right. Grab your heavy weight, now, Hold it in your right hand. You're gonna come down into a single leg deadlift with one row, lower and up. Down, row, lower and up. Modifiers, you are following Bob. You are just doing a single leg deadlift, okay? <sighs> row up and come up. Make sure that you squeeze your glutes when you come up, okay? And try to keep your back as straight as possible. <sighs> keep going. Oh my, I am already dripping sweat. How are you feeling, Bob? I feel my glutes. Yeah. Even the easy way is heavy enough. Yeah, it's not always necessarily easy when you make a notification. All right, drop your weights. Grab that chair if you're using superhero level. If not, follow Bob. We're gonna do a push-up. Everyone else, if you have a chair or a couch or a table, you're gonna use this. Then you're gonna lower down with your chest and push back up, okay? Focus on your breath. Remember, you can always start with your feet on the chair and then you can switch to the ground when you get to the point of failure, okay? But you don't know if you can do it until you try. Come on, superheroes! If this is your first time doing elevated push-ups, I want to see it. You better make a damn video and send it to me. In three, two, one. All right, step forward. Grab your heavy weight, and now we have those deadlifts with a row on the opposite side. Whew. All right, let's go down. Deadlift, row, come on up. Yes, squeeze those glutes when you get to the top, especially the one on the right side. When you do the row, 
send that elbow straight up towards the sky, okay? Your hand is facing towards your body. <sighs> Hips back, bend in the knees. <sighs> you got it, hero. <sighs> we are almost done. We have one exercise left in this round. We're gonna do a bear stance with a donkey hop. <sighs> Three, two, one. All right, heroes, on the floor. <sighs> Get into your bear stance, hands under shoulders. Modifiers, you follow Bob, you're gonna stay right here. You can also do a tap out if you want, Bob. Everyone else, we're gonna do bear hop for 30 seconds, then we're gonna do a donkey hop. Okay, get ready for it. We have about five seconds left. Three, two, one, and let's hit it. Donkey hops, bring your feet to your glutes. Push out of your shoulders. You do not have to go as high as I do. You can also just do this. You can hop side to side, but as long as you're looking really damn ridiculous, you're doing it right. <sighs> Keep going. We're almost there, heroes. In three, two, one, recover. Oh, All right. Yeah. Holy beep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, catch your breath. We have one more round left, and Bob is going to lead you guys through this, okay? Oh, yeah. Last exercise. I love them for my, for my quads. They burn in the bear stance. I love it. You know, you know I love it. Okay. Catch your breath. Take a sip of water. We are doing exactly the same what we did before. We have only two rounds and the same exercises. We do them now together. Last round. So in 15 seconds we start again with a walkout. You can modify it just walking with your hands or walking with your feet, with your hands and your feet. We start in three, two, one, let's go. Walk with your hands, feet are following, try to reach your hands and walk back, hands back and up. Great for your core activation. Great for the mobility in your hamstrings. You can try to keep your legs straight, to feel the stretch. And focus to keep your hip high. All right, after that we're going down for a chest press in five seconds. All right, let's go for it. Chest press on the floor. I'm taking six kilos. You take whatever you have. Make sure your hands are above your shoulders in the end of the position. When you go down, when your elbows touch the ground, you can try to focus that they touch the ground at the same time, okay? At the same time. If you need a bit more focus on your chest, you can turn your hands parallel. That's what I'm doing. Most of the time, you have more stretch in your chest and you feel it a bit more. Breathe when you push. Okay, we switch in three, two, one. We go up again. You need one dumbbell. We're doing a squat. Squat, two swings. One, two, up again. Squat and two swings and a squat. You can modify like Marcel is doing. 
I love these combo exercises because you have the front of your body, back side of your body. It's a total workout. If you do this for 10 minutes, you are done for the day too. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <sighs> 10 seconds left. After that, we need the chair again. Last rep. One more squat. <sighs> All right. We need the chair for the knee tucks. <sighs> Sitting down on it. You can modify again, like Marcel. Keep your, your feet on the floor, alternating, or both. But make sure you have a broad chest. <sighs> Keep your core engaged, core is tight. After that, we're going to combo exercise again. This time the left side with squats and swings. Come on. I'm shaking already. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Left side, take your dumbbell, squat, two swings, one and two. You can modify doing just a squat like before or stick to me, doing the swings, perfect exercise for your back, explosive. If you try to jump higher, for example, perfect exercise, very explosive. All right, come on, keep going. After that, reverse flies in seven seconds. So last rep, one squat, all right. Reverse fly, once again, pro chest, lean forward, hips back, and up. Slowly down. If you follow me, try to get slowly down. And if you watch from the front, my hands are only below my shoulders. I'm not going here, I'm always right, right there, okay? So I keep the tension in my shoulders. And slowly down. Can go explosive up, but slowly down. Okay, 10 seconds after that. Sing like that lift with a row on the right side. Three, two, one and switch. Now take the heavy one again. Split stance for the single leg like deadlift. Rowing with the right side. Up, shift your hip back, proud chest, row and up. You can modify and leave the rowing. Like Marcel, use what you have, water bottle, lightweight, resistant bands, a book, whatever you have, use it. Maybe your baby, <laughs> probably not. <sighs> All right, focus on your forearm. <sighs> Straight back, pull your elbow back as far as you can. <sighs> All right, after that, we go straight into a push-up, last rep. Okay, and push-up. You need a chair or your couch. <sighs> Do as much as you can on the couch, elevated with your feet or on your knees. <sighs> <sighs> Keep your core tight. If you want to go a bit lower, you can turn your head every time, 
then you can go a bit deeper because your face is not in the way. Oh yeah, it's getting tough. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't fun if it's not if it's easy. <laughs> oh, it's going to be challenging. All right, and done. Next exercise, again, single leg deadlift, left side. This time, split stance, left hand, bend forward, pro chest, pull, and up. Lean forward, shift your hip back, and pull. After that, only one more exercise left. You're doing great so far. You almost did it. Whew. Then this week is done. Day seven. Come on. 15 seconds left. And pull straight back. Get your elbows high. Three, two, one. All right, bear stance on the floor. <sighs> Hands below your shoulder, knee below your hip. Just hold this position. After that, you can tap out like Marcel or jump like before in 10 seconds. <sighs> oh, this one is killing me. <laughs> Two, one, and go. You can hop like this or from side to side to your mat. I prefer this one for 30 seconds, 15 left. Come on, keep on moving. Last exercise, quads are burning. I'm dripping wet. Five, two, one. And finish. Woo! This one was tough. It was a real, real hero workout. What a last day. I'm so proud you did it with us. We sweat together, we work together, and I hope you feel like a hero. What do you say, Marcel? Yes, How you guys. like this week? I think you all just leveled it up to superhero level. We are super happy that you guys joined us for this and hope that you really gave it your all. Remember, you can always go back and repeat a workout if you feel like you could have given it more and really want to challenge yourself. So remember that to always push, push, push higher and higher heroes. All right. We will see you guys next time. See you next time. Welcome, heroes, to our cool down we're doing full body for five minutes. And we start now on the ground in three, two, one, let's go. Sit down on your back. First, get your legs straight, wiggle them a bit to make them soft and easy. Then bend one leg 90 degrees and try to reach for your toes. If you can't, grab your leg and pull a bit you can play a bit with your, with your ankles to all sides. Maybe you feel a different stretch in the back side of your leg. You can do circles. <sighs> all right. Then we switch. <sighs> Other side. Try to reach for your toes if you can't again. <sighs> do some circles just forward and backwards or side to side. You will feel a stretch in the back side. <sighs> then after that, get on your side. You can go on your elbow or lay down on your shoulder. Grab your ankle from the upper, upper leg and pull your knee back. Knee on the ground and now try to extend your hip. Proud chest, extend your hip, feel a stretch in the front side of your leg. 
like I said, you can go down on your shoulder, get something for your head if you have to. All right, and release gently. We switch sides. <sighs> Other side, same again. Knee on the ground, extend your hip, pull your knee back as far as you can, and keep breathing, keep breathing. <sighs> okay, now up again. Almost same position like before. First position, one leg straight, other one bent. Get your left hand, if you have your left leg straight, to your right knee, okay? Right hand up and bend over to your left foot. Try to reach it, you don't have to. Just try and you feel a stretch in the side. <sighs> Keep breathing, every time you breathe out, try to reach a bit further. <sighs> okay, gently release. Other side, same again. Right leg straight, right hand on the left knee. Left hand up and try to reach your right foot. And keep breathing. Okay, gently release. Now lay down on your belly, face down. And like you can be able to either go on your forearms, elbow below your shoulder, like Marcel is doing now. If this is enough, shoulders away from your ears, uh, ears, look straight forward. If you feel a stretch, that's great. If you don't, push with your hands in the ground, get your arms straight. Shoulders down and feel the stretch in your abs, all right? After that, if this is a bit uncomfortable for your back, you go directly back on your knees, hands below your shoulders and hip back to your foot, to your ankles. Stretch like a cat. Then can you can move either left or right with your hands. Walk left side or right side. Feel a stretch in the side again. Release your lower body. <sighs> Keep breathing. Other side. <sighs> okay, back in the middle. Then last exercise, sit down again. Now your hands on the back side, fingers turning back and you're moving forward with the hip. Straight back, uh, straight, uh, yeah, straight back, pro chest. And move forward with your hip so you feel a stretch in your biceps and the front of your shoulders, all right? <sighs> because we are doing a lot of bicep curls, obvious you doing it. <laughs> And keep breathing, gently release. And now you should be cooled down. That's it for today. I hope you had a great cool down. Now you should be ready for the rest of your day or you should go to bed if you are finished with your day.